Hey guys, it's Katie with s &B, and today we're going to install our cold air intake on the 2020 and up 6.2 liter. You're going to start by loosening all three hose clamps on the stock intake. So next you're going to disconnect the crankcase hose and the vacuum line from the stock intake. Next you're going to disconnect both hoses off of the resonator. So now you're going to remove the OE intake tube by disconnecting the tube side from the air box and then you'll pop up the resonators from the grommets and then you can remove. Remove this push and rivet that's securing the front scoop of the stock air box and then you can remove it from the vehicle. To make it easier to remove the air box from the vehicle, we start by taking off the lid and removing the air filter. And then you can remove the scoop if you'd like. And then you can pull the box out of the grommets. So now we're gonna assemble the SMB air box and you're gonna start by installing this washer and screw onto the bottom. Next, you're going to install this front inlet, and then you're going to secure it down using the provided uh, rivets. So now you need to decide if you want to install the optional silicone box plug. Um, if you live in extreme heat, we recommend that you do install it but for maximum airflow, we'll leave it out. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna leave it out. So now you're gonna install these two grommets and then the shoulder washers from the inside of the air box. So next we're gonna remove these two bolts and then you can remove the bracket from the vehicle. So you're gonna save these two bolts that you're removing because you're going to use them later. And after you get this bracket off, you can go ahead and install the s &D bracket. And then you're not gonna to wanna to tighten this one down fully just yet. Now you're going to install your s and air box into the vehicle and then you're going to secure it using the bolt that you removed earlier. So the bracket that you loosely installed earlier, you're now going to take the provided hardware and secure it to the air box through the inside of the shoulder washer. Install the push rivet into the front of the inlet.
So now we're going to tighten down the screw that was loosely installed on the SMB bracket. So when installing the fittings onto the intake tube, you're just going to want to hand tighten and then you'll take a wrench. And make one turn. It's okay to see the thread, you're not going to want to tighten them all the way down. Install the bracket onto the SMB intake tube. So to make it easier to install the intake tube into the vehicle, we're going to drop the air filter in first. I find it easiest to fold in that flange, and then we can pull and snap it into place. So install both clamps onto the coupler, and then we're going to install it onto the throttle body. So install the clamp back onto the air filter and then we can install the intake tube. So once you have the intake tube installed, you can then go back and tighten down all the hose clamps and reconnect all the fittings. So remove the protective layer from both sides of the lid and then install it into the lid seal. So the last step is just to install your snap-in clear lid. Alright guys, so that is it. It is a super easy install, but if you have any questions, you just want to know more, you can always check it out on our website or give us a call, and I'll see you next time.